Well, judging from the uh, convention that's going on on our bed, I'd say the heater is popular. We've been running this now for a little bit over a month, so let's get into some numbers and then we'll also follow this up with a video of it running so you can hear plus or minus how noisy it is. The thing is 12 volts. We have a battery there. I started off with a 5 watt solar panel. That did not manage to maintain enough battery to run this thing consistently. From the 5 watt, I ended up adding another 5 watt trickle charger panel. That still did not manage to maintain the system at 10 watts of trickle charge. This is a 25 watt, and I'll post a link for it, that comes with a charge controller. And this is able to maintain the system, and definitely after... A day of full sun charges it with enough 12 volts to be able to run this for two or three days without flinching whatsoever. So we definitely had to have 25 watts worth of maintaining here in the New England weather. This is a 10 liter container, so it holds 2.6 gallons worth of diesel. The one thing that I will state is that Vevor on their Amazon page says that this will run for 100 hours on this container. On the number one setting, I would imagine that it probably would run 50 hours. I don't think it would run 100, but I would bet it would probably run about 50 hours or so on the number one setting. We tend to run it on the third setting. If the girlfriend really is in one of her I want to be in the Sahara Desert modes, she tends to put it in the fourth setting. And I would bet that the container probably would last about ballpark figure, probably 25 to 30 hours worth of runtime on three to four as a setting. There's one issue with this thing when it starts up, and that is that for some reason it makes a rather defined cloud of smoke out of this. Um, this is the exhaust for the burner system, and I think what I'm going to do is reroute this up and like way up in here, out, because as it is right now in the morning when the dew is still heavy and the moisture is still heavy, especially on a foggy day, when you fire this up, this inlet over here, you can smell it pulling in diesel fumes. Now once it's all fired up and it's clean burning and everything, you never end up smelling those fumes again. But... In the interest of safety and just in case, I am going to reroute this with an extended something up into that region so that it blows way away from the whole setup. This silencer that comes in the system, you do need. If you do not have that silencer on this system, it is massively, massively noisy. You do need that. Currently, that is just drilled straight through my six-inch thick wall, going through the insulation straight into the bedroom. One thing we did have to add is in the bedroom, we had to add a dryer um, outlet with a baffle in it so that this thing does not actually draft through when this is off. We did end up noticing that when this is off, it is a straight through on the system. There is no baffle built into the system, and therefore it literally was drafting into the back corner of the bedroom. Now, in a perfect world, this incoming air inlet would go through the wall and go to the other corner of the bedroom. And maybe in the future, if I upgrade this, I will probably figure out a way to route that into the house. But as it is right now, on setting number four, freezing temperatures outside, this thing pipes out 80 to 85 degree temperatures without any issue. This is a great setup. I'm really enjoying it. 
and it's cost effective. Yep, it is morning in Maine. Got down to 33 degrees last night. Frost on everything. And our little heater experiment is cranking up. So I wanted you to be able to hear this ticking noise. And the one thing I wanted to point out is whatever that is nailed to, even though it's in a little rubber container thing, it reverberates through. Um, in a perfect world, I think I'd actually space that out with even more rubber on the side of whatever it is you're using because it does reverberate the ticking through. This thing has one of five settings. Right now we're on four, which is the second highest. And it gets louder as you go up through the settings. So we have figured out that when it's freezing temperature outside and this is on four, the bedroom that Jesse's currently hiding in right now gets to like 75 degrees without any issue after about an hour of running this thing. Are you enjoying your 73 degrees? Yes, actually. So what do you think? Is the diesel heater a good addition? Yes. Now, is it overly noisy? Or are you still able to watch TV okay? TV's fine. TV's fine? Mm -hmm. There's a volume up button for a reason. <laughs> Alright, so right now, just in perspective, it's 73 degrees in here. It is 41 outside right now. And that is on setting number four right now. How much louder does it get if you put it on five? And it doesn't sound that much louder. Yeah, I don't hear any difference. Okay. There's definitely a difference from three to four. I like the keychain. You like the keychain. I don't gotta get out of bed. <laughs> yeah, Alright. So we're gonna finish it off by taking and using a dryer vent hose to put it up there in the corner. And then the little controller thing is going to mount over here on the doorway. And otherwise than that, I think it was a good investment, don't you? Yes. All right. Look, I don't know about you, but I hate reviews that sugarcoat when there is an irritating fact about a product. So I'm going to tell you one of the irritating facts about this product. If you watch all the tent reviews on these and the... the camper reviews and the glamping reviews one of the things that they always politely state is that they started up like five to ten minutes before they ever intend to get into the camper or get into the tent or whatever and what we figured out was that the way this thing works is that it starts pumping air through the furnace before it fires up and so it can be as much as two to three minutes of running before it actually comes up to temp that it spends pumping cold air through the system before it ever even heats up. So that is why they're so polite in those reviews. And I'll just state it. 